Hey -o. So I've decided to reorganize my comic book collection. Um, these three short boxes contain pretty much all of my collection. I've got a few on my shelf that I'm reading now. Um, I was adamant at first, so I've been collecting books for about um, four or five years. Um, been reading books for about four or five years. Um, so I'm fairly new. Um, I was adamant at first about um, organizing by artist. The, the, my first draw towards comic books is the art. Um, I've got my favorite artist from at this point is Declan Shelby. So I've got a pretty big um, Declan Shelby section. I've got 28 Days Later, I've got Cry Havoc, Venom, which actually he's one of the main reasons for organizing my artist because I have all these books from different series and since I love him, his work so much, um, I want them all together. Um, but on a lot, I'm noticing the more that I read books that um, there will be a series going on and there will be a different artist will pop in. Like uh, in Daredevil, Wade Somney, um, Wade Somney, Rodriguez, Wade Rodriguez Lopez. I'm actually much more of a fan of Rodriguez um, currently. Um, I love, I'm in love with um, Spider Woman. Um, so, it, uh, um, on one level it would make a lot of sense for me to keep my artists together, but then it becomes very difficult to, um, to find books, and series get out of order. Um, so right now I've decided to bite the bullet decided to organize everything by title um, and see how I feel about that when I'm when I have it all organized in that way. But I also have this other box which is um, unsorted books that I'm not sure if I'm um, most of them I haven't read um, and then largely because of that I'm not um, sure how much I like them. I also have a, a pile of books to get rid of. Um, which I think that this pile would grow um, if if I had them organized by um, title. Um, so the way I'm going to get started is I'm going to not think about this box for the time being. Um, I'm gonna put the by title to the side for the time being. Use it as a table to show stuff on. I'm gonna start removing all of my um, Books by artist. So this is FF by um, written or drawn by Allred. Um, and then X Force Allred. So we got FF. It scares me uh, separating a little bit of eye zombie into those. Um, scares me actually. Um, breaking these out of their by artist order. Um, but I'm just going to go with it. So this in here I also have um, letters to basically divide the books. Oh man, I love this book. Southern Cross, um, Ballinger's artwork is amazing. Um, I also have Kill Shakespeare by him. A couple of those. Looking for more in a Swamp Thing issue by him. Um, so S, kind of trying to keep um, order, a little bit of order. Uh, the, another one which makes things complicated is Nowhere Men. Um, Nate Belgrade 
who is an amazing artist, is an amazing artist, um, something happened and um, I think after issue six he could no longer do the book. This is going to get messy. Sheltered by Johnny Christmas. Johnny Christmas' work is amazing. Um, and this book grew on me quick. Um, so here's one, Paper Girls. I have the first one, and I'm not a super big fan of um, Cliff Chang, uh, which I appreciate the artwork. Um, I just I'm not in love with it the way I am with Bellinger or Belgrade or Johnny Christmas. Um, I appreciate it very much though. Um, Dudley Class, similar thing. I appreciate um, Wes Craig's work, um, but um, I got over it after a little while. I actually, I haven't seen much of Ming Doyle's work, but I love her art. Grip. D E F G. Fatima. D E F G. P Q R S. Trillium by Lemire, Plutona by Emmy Linux. I love her work, um, and I want to get the rest of these. I heard that it, um, I've heard good things about how it ended. Peas, PQST. No Mercies coming up. Um, um, Alex DeCampi, Carlos Speed McNeil, um, Carlos Speed McNeil's artwork's wonderful. Here's the one Arrow County seed by Carl Speed McNeil, and then a few Queen and Country. I think I have all of her Queen and Countries. 16, 17, 18, 19. Uh, ooh, I might be missing 19. That's a bummer. It's random phonograph and random Rachel Rising issue. I'm Super excited about someday checking out Rachel Rising. I've heard amazing things about it. And I love uh, McKelvey's artwork. Hmm. Marvel Fanfare. By, um, it's drawn by Richard Perez, I think it's Richard Perez, George Perez, sorry. Um, fade Out and Fatal. Then my Rodriguez section. It's, it's, it's Javier. Yeah, Javier Rodriguez. My Wonder Woman. This series is great. I don't know about this one. Um, it is the only one of that part of the series that I've read. But these are amazing. I actually didn't like care for this issue that much. It was silly. Pretty deadly. Love the artwork. Um, hard to follow. 
Punisher, I couldn't take it. I couldn't take it anymore. Um, got, I don't know, I definitely want to finish it because it's written by um, Becky Cloonan, who also does Southern Cross back here. But, I just found it to be pretty gross. Um, so all Declan Shelby's stuff, which is this, this is my Declan Shelby pal, which also he did these covers for the Punisher. Um, I think I'm going to keep those together for the time being, I'll, I'll put those in last. So here's back in the tease for Dave Taylor, I have the rest of the Nowhere Men's, um, which I've already lost, but I'll just throw these down. Dark Corridor, um, which is a wonderful series by Rich Tommaso, amazing artwork, amazing writing. And then Zero, Material, and Monstrous. Alright, so now I'm going to start putting these back in. I'm going to start... Um, I'm shooting for A through N in this box. So... Missing my A marker, but I don't need it. Um, and let's remember, I'm doing... <laughs> By title, not artist. Okay, so dark corridor. Dark corridor, dark corridor, dark corridor. Punisher. I'll probably do this for a moment or two. Um, for a minute or two, and then uh, start doing it on my own because it's kind of probably a boring thing to watch. I'm going to move these Declan Shelvies because, like I said, I'm, I'm going to put those in last. Fade Out and Fatal. D. E. F. Spider Woman will be in the next box, but I'll put her there for now. Punisher will be. Punisher will be in the next one. So we'll Queen and Country. H. G. Where's G? G. H. Taylor County. F for FF. I'm actually already starting to feel better about this because I'm a huge fan of um, Sean Phillips um, in terms of artwork. I, again, uh, complete respect for him. Um, but um, hi, zombie. And great respect for Sean Phillips, but um, just not something that I'm in love with. So, move Paper Girls and Plutona. No Man's not going to be in this one. So no class. No, 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 no. Sheltered's down here. But no, so none of these. Mira might be, or Mara might be, if the A, A, M, L is I think the 
the rest of these will go in the other one. I, I hate Fairyland. Ah, shoot. Uh, probably going my get rid of pile. Oh, Deadly Class. Here we go. Deadly Class. Fatima. This is a beautiful book. Um, by Gilbert Hernandez. Um, Deadly Class. After Dark Corridor. Um, Fatima, right before FF, Grip, right there. I think that completes. Go in the chai eyes. And yeah, that completes um, the A through M's that um, came out of my artist box. I'm feeling good about this, like I said before. Um, I think I know the artists that I love. I think that I know the books that they worked on enough to be able to find their works when I want to. Um, and yeah, I think that this system will um, serve my actual, uh, actually, um, learning about artists um, more. I'm not sure exactly what that means, uh, material and monstrous. I'm not really um, being super specific about what sort of, how things are organized within the um, the letters. Uh, so I'm going to start putting these books in from the stuff that's already organized by title into here. Um, Art Ops. Art Ops. Avengers Arena. Avengers Arena is awesome. Um, written by Hopeless, who's currently doing um, Spider-Woman. Writing Spider-Woman. Spider Art Ops goes in the front. We got Batman, Batman, Comeback, Black Panther. I want to read Black Panther more, but um, I don't know. I don't know about it. I think maybe trade Comeback, which is by um, Bryson, who did a book called The Violent, which is very good. Um, Put in the D for Daredevil. It's got Death Head, which is pretty cool. Um, Barrier Riders, maybe artist as well. Uh, Death Head, we'll put behind Dark Corridor. And Deadly Class. Um, we got Fantastic Four, which I'm going to put to the side for the time being because I'm not into the art very much. Um, I'm not, yeah, I'm not super in, into that series. Frankenstein Agent of Shade, um, I've been into that. Grindhouse. Grindhouse, 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 Grindhouse. Actually, pull this one out because it's a trade. We've got um, Archiver's Predator. Alex Acampi. So, Alex Acampi writes uh, Grindhouse and 
Archie vs Predator. Uh, she also does No Mercy. I think she's I think she's wonderful. Archie goes to the A's. Hawkeye through Helheim. I love the artwork on this book. I need to research it more though. Um, I know Aja, um, Annie Wu, um, I, think, I think a guy named Wilson worked on it too, which actually I think that issue is one of my favorites. Um, Babylon is out of place. Lazarus. Sagas here, or Satellite Sam, oh maybe I jump straight to the S's, that's interesting, I don't have my, here we go, I don't have my Valiant organized very well, which actually I might, um, might leave these out and put them in um, later. Because I don't, I haven't read much Valiant. I want to read much more. Um, so yeah, I feel like they'd get a little bit lost if I just put them in. Ooh, the vision. That, that's the only Tom King's vision I've read. Um, with Walsh. I think Walsh might have done some Hawkeye. Anyway. Awesome issue. I've heard great things about this. I wish that I was reading it from the beginning, but I don't know. I'll find it somehow. All right, so now I'll start putting the dividers from here into here. We got all through M. Anyway, I'm going to do the rest by myself, um, but quickly, I'm going to take you on a quick tour of the rest of my stuff over here in the Organized Buy series that I haven't um, shown you yet. Um, a few Saga issues. Recently, these are really the only Saga issues I've read. Um, 31, 32. I liked them. It was something that turned me off a little bit. Satellite Sam, I'd like to try that again. I tried that, this is about when I started reading this. Uh, this came out about when I first, first started reading comics. Um, I liked it, but I fell off and I uh, definitely like to try it again. Um, Secret Avengers, I for some reason have a infatuation with. Um, the series, this series, um, I don't know what volume it is, maybe three. Um, it's written by um, Alish Cott and drawn by Walsh, Michael Walsh. Oh yeah, Michael Walsh. Yeah, he's the one that worked on Hawkeye. This series is beautiful. It has also a Spider-Woman who I'm in love with. Um, so, got most of those. Um, Issue of Southern Bastards. These weird looking uh, books by, written by Remender, drawn by someone named Peck or Franco Villa. Yeah. I don't know much about these, but I want to read them. I kind of have a, a, a dove in to Rick Remender quickly. Um, and re more recently, um, I find myself rolling my eyes at his work. Um, Spider-Gwen I got to check out by this guy, I think Robbie Rodriguez, who also did this book called Collider. really don't 
not into the artwork, but um, found these in dollar bins. Um, some Avengers Assemble, mostly getting these because of Spider Woman. Trees I've not read. I've started getting a few soggy Jimbo books. Um, Velvet. I've got a, I've got like maybe one through seven. I need to get the rest of those. Um, we can never go home. New X Men. All right. I got them for the most part organized. I put a few more into my unsorted um, section. I got this one. This box is now a. Through O. This box is now O, P through Z. That might change. And no longer by an artist. And the last thing that I'll have to do is organize all of my Declan Shelby books. It's going to be a little bit of a pain to break those apart for me. Um, so we've got Injection, Venoms, a couple of Moon Knights, Cry Havoc, but that's just for the cover. Put that aside actually. And 20 days later, and a few, the massive, and I think Thunderbolts is the last one. So one, two, three, four, five, six series. Ah, that's not that bad. I'll shuffle those into the pile um, in the next few days. I might actually leave them aside um, and just make sure that I've read them all um, and obsess a little bit more over the shelvy art before entering them into the collection. Um, once again, thank you very much. Um, if you have any thoughts about, um, I don't know, how you organize your comic books or um, thoughts about trying to organize your comic book by either artist or author or in any other way, maybe by year, um, I'd be interested in ideas. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, have a beautiful day.